Hi, I'm Laura Ewing and I'm a character designer from Madrid, Spain. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your character more relatable with facial expressions. So, let's get to it. So let me show you the expressions for Haldor. This is a pose, the first one, where he's pretty calm, normal, even looks a bit serious. So we're going to look at his eyes, his mask, it's pretty relaxed. What happens when he gets surprised, like this one? Look at these eyebrows, they go from here all the way up to here. So this skin is going to be pulled straight up, which in turn should give him actually, now that I'm at it, a few lines up here. These are all the different skin that's here is now being just stuck on top. The older you get, the more of them you have. I'm just going to give them a few really small ones right here. Since it's not very old man or anything. And then what happens? His mouth is wide open, going straight down. If this goes straight down, your jaw that was before was maybe here. It's not here anymore, is it? All the way down here, which would probably make your beard go down. So you had your beard here. And of course, this is an exaggeration. It wouldn't go all the way down to there, but it's a cartoon, so we can push it even further and make his mouth opening, push his beard all the way down, make it more extreme. We're going for extreme when it comes to cartoon. Anything that is mild just goes right under the radar. People don't really connect with it. You just need to go further. Same as with actors that say you're overacting with animators, you just need to go all the way. To do this one, what I was thinking was, since I have all the very nice and woolly size to him, I decided to go all the way across like this because he's sad, so his shoulders are gonna slump down. You know when you're sad, you, just, you lose the energy and you go down, right? The different ones down here, but this one is gonna go down. So I use these shoulders, and in this case, I use the actual woolly part here, fluffy ends, to just really exaggerate that and make it more apparent. Also playing with his face, making it more of a triangle, the hair. His nose was here, and when his mouth gets pulled down, his nose gets pulled down. His nose was here, and then look, here, and his nose is pulled down to here. Not like they're lined up or anything, but that's the difference. When it gets pulled down, it's just a little bit. We also use our eyebrows a lot with expressions. So again, we wanna make sure they're connected somewhere. Even if you don't draw it, you need to know that they seem like they're the same thing. It's one eyebrow that is very long, it's like a snail, okay? We want a slug, really. We want to go all over the place with that. Then we get separated into two, but we want to make sure they're one. It really helps. If you're angry, what happens? When, when we saw that you were surprised, your face went all the way up, right? It stretched. So when you get angry, your face kind of closes in. You go this way. So what we were saying about the beard, if the beard was here, or here maybe, it's a relaxed beard, or stretched out because you were scared, then you're going to go further up because your mouth tightens and you go all the way where your nose is. You see here, we have him as well. He's tightening up everything. Your mouth, when they say you've got pursed lips, right? You're just so annoyed that your mouth just gets smaller and your eyebrows just close in and this whole section of your face just becomes smaller, just scrunched. I even want to use, well, so you can see it more in this one actually, is I use this line here to make him look like he was closing in on himself. So the hat, I tilted it right here. I didn't make it straight, I tilted it sideways. So that helps a bit of your line of action as well. Again, shoulders. Same as when I was sad on this one. Well, and I'm saying I was because I'm feeling this. I try and feel what my character feels. If I'm very happy, I can't draw an angry person. I just try and get myself in the mood. 
So people can say I look really stubborn sometimes, it's because I'm my character is stubborn. And that's why my face is doing that, I'm feeling it. What we've got here is shoulders up. When you're angry, pull them all the way up. You tense your hands, just overall annoyed. See, if I just do these lines, it feels like he's angrier. Well, that's what I'm doing with his shoulders. And since we have something to play with, I'm even emphasizing it further. And here, when he's trying to be cocky, for example, I don't know, maybe in some moment he will be. So what I did was use the eyebrows again, see how they're connected? They're not separated. They're working together in the same plane. See how it joins up there? Now his mouth is open like this. So we're pushing skin up. So if you were to see what's under the hair right now, you would see that this eye is gonna be closed in a little bit. You see that? Right now you've got the hair on top, but if you were to see it without the hair, the skin on his cheeks would be pushed up by the mouth all the way up to that eye. The nose is a little bit higher here because the mouth is more open to one side. And then instead of having the little bit of bottom of your beard here, it moves up a little bit to this side for the same reason. It just gets pulled. And what I did was I went with this diagonal line because it just feels a little cockier. It's like, meh, here I am. You want to talk to me? Something. There's a bit of a one shoulder cockiness about him. I don't know. I think it helps. This would be a character expression sheet that I would like you to make. So try it out. If you're interested in character design content, I encourage you to check out the link of my course below and feel free to write in the comments. See you soon. Bye bye.